Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2. I'm out here in the garage working on filming some footage for a range report on the Arsenal Sam 5 AK. Now, I have some thoughts on this, and the owner of this has really upgraded this rifle really nice. And I wanted to talk about AKs versus ARs for a moment because often when I review AKs of any kind, people that are really into AKs, I guess they don't like me or like my opinions. And there's always been this kind of battle between AR and AK rifles. And a lot of it has been jovial in nature where it's just kind of people uh, just kind of kidding around with each other. But I'll tell you, when I do AK review videos, I always get the haters because when it comes to AK reviews and the people that are really big in the AK world, I think people expect different types of reviews than AR guys. So, for example, we have uh, Robsky of the AK-47-74 Operators Union. You have, what's his name, Brandon Herrera. You know, these, these are like big AK guys, and they review them from a certain perspective, and they have a certain... Um, uh, hue intent to their reviews a um, little bit more macho a little bit more alpha um, there's just an image that goes along with it and so anytime I and I fully admit I'm probably more in the AR camp than I am the AK camp but I still appreciate AKs they all get mad at me oh you did this wrong whatever but I wanted to talk about a few accessories and things that I'm noticing that AK owners are putting on their AKs that make them more like ARs and I'm going to say something here. Number one, it's kind of a joke. So if you're real sensitive on this topic, like if I say one's better than another and it's really going to offend you, this might not be the video for you. But I'm really saying this more as just, you know, because we're all in this together. It's camaraderie. Uh, just having a little fun with you. Some of it's more just poking fun at things than anything else. But if you can't take... An AR guy saying something about an AK you don't like, this might not be the video for you. But before I do that, I've got to show you guys something, and I need your opinion. I think I told you in a recent uh, garage video, garage ramblings video, I'm getting old. Well, I finally got my glasses in. And so I don't know how this is going to work. And these are progressive lenses. What do you guys think? I know I'm a dork, but now am I even dorkier I don't know and these progressive lenses are definitely going to take some getting used to uh man I don't know if you have have progressive lenses but I got to look at things different some things seem to be pretty good but then like on the peripherals and top and bottom when I'm looking straight ahead it can be a little bit disorienting and uh my eyesight's normally pretty good I got a little bit of astigmatism in this eye so hopefully at night time which is when i more I have more issues this is this is going to help me so i'm not sure if i'm going to shoot with these i don't know if i'm going to use these in videos for range reports i don't know i don't i don't know how this is going to going to work yet but what do you guys think there you go me wearing glasses i'm getting old so what do you guys think but i'll keep them on uh, for now because i got to get used to them so anyway let's talk about ak's and here is that sam five so this is kind of like a, a AK-74. It's chambered in 5.56. And that's the first thing. I know that a lot of people right now are really excited when they get an AK-74 type rifle, but it's chambered in 5.56. And they'll say, oh, it's the ammo availability. It's a lot easier to get 5.56 than 5.45. And that's totally true. But you're chambering your Russian rifle in an American round. But you say the AR is inferior to the AK, but you chamber it in that round. And the 5.56 essentially is the definitive AR round. I've always found that to be kind of funny. So in a way, you're admitting maybe the ARs have the caliber a little bit better. But then, I always hear from AK guys, Niet rifle is fine, meaning just the way it came is the way it's supposed to be. If you add accessories, some AK owners get, get real upset with you. But here, we have a lot of really cool upgrades, like this really cool handguard, lots of in-lock stuff. Um, and then, at the back, I think is the biggest issue. 
we have this M4 stock and buffer tube. Now, the thing about this that I'm always perplexed about is all the AK guys that go and get AR-15 furniture. They go and get this. Now, I will say that these stocks, of course, are, are comfortable. You have all the adjustments. But yet, you're running AR furniture on your AK. Isn't that kind of admitting that the AR is better? I mean, you're, you're running AR ammo in your AK. You're putting on AR furniture on your AK. And another reason I don't like these on AKs is one of the big advantages about AKs, in my opinion, is that the recoil mechanism is in the receiver. Where, of course, in the AR, you have to have the buffer tube. It's integrally part of the rifle. Because as the bolt carrier, it reciprocates back into that buffer tube. But in the AK, you don't have that or need that. So the stock can be folding. It can be uh, under folder, telescoping. It can be those really cool triangle stocks. and Or a combination of all of the above. Because you can even fire it with the stock closed. Because all the action is inside the receiver. But when you add a buffer tube like this, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? So you have AR furniture and AR round in your AK. So all those people that are AK aficionados and absolutely love the AK and talk about how superior it is to the AR, why do you take your AK and make it into an AR? I mean, it's still a cool rifle, let's just be honest. Both, both rifles are awesome. But you put on AR-15 features on your AK. If the AK was truly superior, I mean, how many people put on AK features on their AR? I mean, there are some things you can do. I mean, there are ARs chambered in 7.62 by 39. I'm sure, even though I've probably never seen it, an AR chambered in 5.45, I guess, maybe? I've never seen it, but who knows? But you, but you don't see it very often. Um, once in a while, you'll see somebody come out with some type of weird side-charging handle for an AR. Um, but normally, we're fine with the charging handle. You just don't... You, you see people ARing their AKs, but you never see people AKing their ARs. Why is that? And when I say this, once again, this is kind of, you know, just poking fun at the AK guys. If the AK is superior, why do you have to have to do that? Why do you have to do that? But I think we can all admit both rifles are awesome. I just personally feel that AK guys need to admit what we all know is true. The AR is superior. But the AK is still badass. So there you go. What do you guys think? When it comes to the great AR AK debate, where do you stand? And what do you think about adding these features to AKs? Does it go so far away from the original intent and purpose and design and the pluses of the AK design? And does it only show that the AR is superior? And I guess, what do you think about my glasses? So anyway, that's what's going on today in, in, in the garage. I'd love to know your thoughts, especially as I'm filming this video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.